Ninja Scroll, one of the most violent and therefore awesome anime. It holds no punches in the amount of gore or the amount of gratuitous nudity. It also stands up decades later as quite possibly one of the best animated action films of all time. We follow a wandering mercenary named Jubei who is poisoned by some weird old man into fighting against eight demons. Set in feudal Japan and filled with historical drama and intrigue, this film also delivers an overabundance of blood, boobs, and badassery. You know, the three Bs. The action moves at a rapid pace as Jubei brutally cuts down each of the demons one by one. Well, kinda. He technically kills three himself, but the first one was like a blind dude that he tricked, the other one was a 50-50 effort with the old guy. I'll give him the third one, but it's quite possible he might have just lucked out with that one. He thinks he killed the rock dude, but that guy actually gets killed by his own boomerang sword thing due to poisoning from a female ninja who he assaulted earlier in the evening. Jubei does cut this bee dude's leg off, but he's totally killed from the bees living inside him trying to get out and avoid drowning. I mentioned this is a super violent anime, right? In typical demon fashion, the rest of the demons are off by each other as they scheme and vie for power, except for the last guy. I won't spoil his thing. It's good though. The whole thing is good. Well, I mean, if you can handle the hyperviolence. There was also a spin-off TV series. I caught a few episodes, but it's nowhere near the movie, and it's like not the worst anime I've seen, but I'd give that a pass and just stick with the film. Clearly this isn't an anime for everyone, but if you can stomach or have a taste for Tarantino levels of gore or just pure visceral action, I highly recommend it. So those are my thoughts on Ninja Scroll. What are yours? Leave a comment below. Once again, this was Fade Dragon Tear. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.